The measurement expert Douglas Hubbard reminds us, don't reinvent the wheel. It's been done before. Therefore, examining the work of others with respect to creating measurement strategies in whatever you are planning to do in your digital learning environments will be the first order of business as you develop your literature review. This isn't a new process. In EDLD 5305, you were asked to review the literature on educational technology and disruptive innovation to look for trends and patterns that would support your innovation project. In this course, you'll once again go to the literature to learn how others have measured similar or related scenarios and learn about the best ways to measure the impact of your innovation plan. We also want to remind you, you're not alone. Most real-world research projects involve several people or even groups, so we believe it is important for you to learn to work collaboratively on your literature review. Many of you are working on similar projects, like blended or online learning, one-to-one -one initiatives, e-portfolios, computational thinking, programming, or using media or video or other digital tools to enhance the learning environment. So rather than work in isolation, we will be giving you the opportunity to share your research workload with your colleagues. We also recognize how much work is involved in reviewing the literature, so we have given you enough time to complete this review effectively. Good writing requires lots of editing, so we encourage you to use your time wisely and not leave this key part of your measurement strategy to the last minute. We've also structured the class discussions and collaborations to augment and support the literature review process, so we encourage you to work together with your learning community.